This is my OLED Steam Deck. It's a brand new one. I've had it for a few days. I've been doing testing against the original Steam Deck, the ROG Ally, and the Legion Go. I do love this handheld, actually. I think it's quite a decent upgrade from the original version of the uh, Steam Deck, but I have been noticing that the performance is slightly better on this than the original one, and it also has better temperatures, and the fan is definitely quieter. But I want to see if I can push it a little bit further. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to add something called PTM. It's basically an alternative to thermal paste. I actually added it to my Lenovo Legion Go. The Lenovo Legion Go actually has PTM. It comes with it. Um, but I, you know, I just wanted to test it and see if adding new PTM would make it perform better. And it actually did. The performance is slightly better. Uh, the lows have come up and the temperatures are slightly down. Now this here, I believe, uses thermal paste. So adding PTM should actually be a considerable improvement, not just you know a little bit using one PTM to another. So what I'm going to do here, because this is a pretty interesting video for me, I'm not just gonna test it on my brand new Steam Deck, I'm also gonna test it on my original Steam Deck, which is actually technically only a couple weeks old. I actually rebought it after I sold it because I felt kind of guilty and I wanted the original one again. So I'm gonna do my tests on the new one, which should see a performance improvement, but I don't think it's gonna be groundbreaking because it actually does have pretty good thermal improvements as it is thermal performance as it is, but then I'm also going to do PTM on the original ones. Maybe the PTM is more useful on the old Steam Deck than the new one, we'll see. So uh, yeah, see if this helps at all. Okay, if you want to do this, which you probably shouldn't, um, um, screw here, screw here, and it's this style here. The uh, six star, well I can't see it, six star. Uh, so boom, boom, take that out. I would like to take out this ribbon because I don't want to peel it off of this here. Flick it up and then I can go take that out and then I don't have to try to peel this off. I was worried about tearing it to be honest. Because now what I can do is I can just go like this, right? So same idea, use your stars here. Um, in theory, I think this just comes off so I don't have to pull up the whole fan. That's nice. Yep. So that just sits in front of the fan. And that is a thermal paste. That is not a PTM pad. On this OLED version here, the temperatures aren't that bad in the first place, uh, but it's, my temperatures are temperatures. So I'm using some isopropyl alcohol. I take that off. So it is a paste. It looks like it was very well pasted. Um, they did not do a bad job of thermal pasting it. Um, there's not, you know, missing parts. Seems like Valve has a good attention to detail, um, which has kind of persisted. So what it is is it's like a phase changing material. Um, so it comes as like almost like a soft, almost like a paste slash uh, pad. It's something in between, very very soft. And then when it gets hot, you heat it up, you heat it up, you heat it up, you cool your system, you heat it up, and it almost turns into like a, a more solidified material, um, thicker than like a normal paste. And it actually will, um, in theory, will cool it quite a bit. So you can cut out like a little piece of paper and then, you know, cut a little piece of paper to the shape of that, put it over this and use it as a mask. But what I'm going to do is just go like this. So I know I'm going to actually go slightly over rather than going under. It's not the cheapest stuff in the world, but, you know, I don't need for really anything else other than I'm going to do a couple of Steam Decks and my ROG Ally I'm going to do and maybe my uh, I do my Nintendo Switch, that'll be fun. You get these little pads which just helps kind of pick it up um, and it's really hard to separate. I'll try to do it on camera. I don't know if you can see here but there's basically like a plastic obviously over it so that's the bottom. So I'm going to try to take it off the top which I might have to take off camera because I can't see so the pad is now So I actually over, one of the reasons I also overcut it was because I knew I was going to touch this edge here and mess it up. You can see, see that messed up a little bit, but that's fine because it's way overcut, um, which I did intentionally learning from my previous. Okay. And I hope that application is okay. If it's not, I can always redo it. It's not the end of the world. I have a gigantic pad of it over here that is primarily used for a couple different handhelds. So now what we'll do is we'll just apply that. It looks like it's flat. There's no bubbles in it. Uh, put this back in here now. So you'll find that PTM, if you actually put it on and then immediately run benchmarks, your performance will actually probably go down, um, which is normal because it actually needs to cure. Curing isn't the right word. It needs to like burn in basically or mature. I don't know what the proper term is. And what happens is basically you run some benchmarks probably for a long time, 10, 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Then you let it cool down. Then you do it again. Then you run it to cool it, cool down. And what, over time, when you do that, the PTM will actually get better as it kind of like burns in. Um, so the first few times that you run a test, probably will look, perform worse. So you need to basically either do those extensive burn-in tests, which I recommend doing. Then you can, um, you know, just go down to like basic use. So I'm actually going to use the Steam Deck for probably 
probably the rest of the night, just normally uh, using it, burning it in, just kind of playing games, whatever. Then I'll start my testing because otherwise, if you just do it right away, your performance will go down. Absolutely. So, okay. And here's the Steam Deck. You can see I added some thermal paste, thermal pad to that there. I actually stole it off my Xbox. Same thing. Okay, it looks good. Same thing. This, Like I said, this Steam Deck is like three weeks old. Okay, and there we go. I have the pad on there, the uh, PTM 7950. I actually did a better job on this one than the uh, newer Steam Deck. I just I don't know, did a better job. So to test the changes in thermals, what I did here is I loaded up Baldur's Gate for all the tests, and I tested in two different areas. Recorded the results for about 10 minutes per run. I did it indoors and outdoors, so there's two different areas. The first one here is an underground area. It's very static. I just basically leave the characters in the exact same spot. This is where I load in. And then I moved into Baldur's Gate itself. I just teleported there. So the nice thing is that every time I did it, the exact same place. There's a little bit of randomization of NPCs moving through. So the nice thing is, you know, it's much more demanding. But if you were, you know, you get your results over time, it's a much more demanding area, but it'll normalize to some degree. Okay, so we'll start with the results for the OLED Steam Deck here. And so we'll start with the inside here. Uh, we didn't see anything dramatic on temperatures, but we did see a minus two. Uh, drop in temperatures, which I guess is a little bit there. So two degrees lower and the FPS did go up by two This could be you know margin of error Potentially it's not massive, but there's a little bit of a change there We did see a little bit of a drop in frame time as well So I think the performance is better, you know, we're getting a little bit better performance a little bit lower temperatures Not huge, but a little bit there what we do see is lower fan speeds So the fans drop by 180 rpm, which is nice and that's going to result in one less DB So realistically, you know in this indoor less demanding scene uh, We're seeing slightly better temperatures slightly better performance and slightly better fan noise overall Outdoors is a much more demanding area and we get uh, interesting results where the actual thermals are unchanged the actual FPS are unchanged. I would say that the frame time is basically unchanged, interestingly, but what we do see is an even more dramatic decrease in the RPMs of the fan, which results in an even greater decrease in the fan noise. What's happening is that the chip is not running quite as hot. Um, you know, the Steam Deck is allowing it to basically get up to the same temperatures before you know it starts to really try to cool itself down. But because it's not running as hot, it doesn't need to work as hard to get those temperatures. So what we see here is decreasing need for fan. So the fan doesn't have to work as hard, run as fast to keep the temperatures down. And as a result, the system is quieter. So you can definitely decrease your noise on the Steam Deck OLED here. Now again, it's not absolutely game changing, but it is still noticeable. And here is where the results get very interesting. So this is the original Steam Deck. Again, this is a brand new model. It's like, you know, maybe a month old at most. So it's not like it's got old paste. And this is where we get huge increases in performance. So same exact test inside. We went from 85 degrees over here down to 79 degrees. So that's a six degree drop in temperature. That is huge. That is significant because 85 is roughly where the Steam Deck, you know, just basically, it, you know, it really has to work at that type of temperature over there. I uh, did see an increase in performance as well, getting three more FPS, which does make sense in this case because, you know, it's running nowhere near as hot, so it doesn't have to throttle. Uh, frame time went down a little bit too, 2.1. Again, not game changing, but it is going down a huge drop in the RPMs on the fan though. Minus 820, just the fans were going. It was loud and you know, they're just ripping. And you know, we're seeing over here an 820 RPM drop over there. Uh, it looks like it dropped the DB by about three. Again, it might be a little bit in terms of my room, you know, a little bit of noise that was slightly different, but overall we're seeing decrease in noise and a huge decrease in fan speed there. So, I mean, not only are you getting a cooler Steam Deck, you're also getting a much quieter Steam Deck. Outdoors, basically you're looking at the exact same type of thing. Um, decrease of five degrees on the thermals there. So again, you know, it basically was sitting at 85, 86 in both cases before. Now it's dropping down, you know, 81, 79, depending on the scenes, but you're sitting closer to 80. So around five degrees cooler overall. Uh, the FPS didn't change in Baldur's Gate itself. It's an extremely demanding area. It basically was just struggling regardless. Uh, frame time, same thing. It struggled regardless, didn't make a big difference. But again, huge drop in the actual fan speed there. So minus 850 on that fan there, um, which again saw a decrease in the dB of minus 6.7. That is a 
huge drop in the DB on those fans there. What I can say here confidently is, you know, with the actual Steam Deck original, the IPS model, doing this PTM upgrade makes a significant difference on the noise level of the Steam Deck. So my conclusions here are pretty straightforward. We have our new Steam Deck and we have our IPS Steam Deck. For the OLED Steam Deck over here, the PTM 7950 mod, it does make a difference. Uh, you see a little bit less fan noise um, and a little bit better temperatures and that. But again, not game changing. The new Steam Deck runs quieter anyways, significantly quieter than a stock IPS Steam Deck. But again, it is making a difference. Decreasing your fans by 200 uh, RPM and you know decreasing your DB by you know one to three or so is noticeable. That is noticeable improvement. So you're going to get a quieter Steam Deck, potentially slightly better performance, but realistically you're just looking at a slightly quieter Steam Deck. Now IPS Steam Deck owners, this was absolutely game changing. Like you're not seeing huge differences in performance, maybe slightly here and there, but what you are seeing is a much cooler Steam Deck. It runs much cooler, you know, five or six degrees. That is significant. But what you will see, and I think this is the most game changing about this, is a way quieter Steam Deck. You know, we're looking at a decrease of the RPMs on the fans from, you know, 5,900, 6,000 down to like 5,000, right? We're looking at about 800, 850, maybe even 900 decrease in the RPM on those fans. That is a huge improvement on the Steam Deck here. And that translates into less noise. What do I think of this here? I think if you have an IPS Steam Deck, you know, get yourself some PTM 7950 and just throw it on here. I think it's fantastic. It's an easy upgrade. It's not overly expensive. And the quality of life when using the Steam Deck, when the fans are just so much quieter, it just makes it such an enjoyable device. So that's the results there. I think it's awesome. I think you should do it. Um, if you have an OLED one, maybe not, but you know, definitely very interesting results.